Cities across Hampton Roads are still cleaning up after the store. <laughs> Thank you for watching 13 News Now at Noon. I'm Lucy Bustamante. And I'm Ashley Smith. It's been several days at this yeah. spot, at this point, I should say. Some spots, there's some snow, there's some ice, and then others, like a foot away from it, <laughs> are slush. Absolutely. So Elise Brown spoke with Norfolk Emergency Management on the aftermath of this snowstorm. Norfolk Emergency Preparedness and Response Head Jim Reddick is constantly evaluating how the city handles extreme situations. There will be an after action report. We'll highlight the things that have gone well uh, and we'll address the things that we need to improve. Mother Nature dumped several inches of snow across the area. The forecasts kept changing for the worse. Norfolk crews worked in 12 hour shifts using brine, salt and sand. The ice beneath the snow was a challenge to plows. You can only plow you know, to a certain degree, but if there's so much ice, it's not going to go anywhere. We asked Reddick if he thinks the city should take a look at buying more snow removal equipment. The city has 22 plows and 17 spreaders. There's always the talk about having more investment in the equipment, and that's a conversation that we're willing to have. It's all about the climatology, uh, the infrequency of the event, uh, the willingness of the taxpayer to invest more in that. What the city doesn't plow, neighborhood roads. A spokeswoman says it's because plowing equipment is large and streets narrow. In the coming days, Reddick wants to hear from the community on what they feel could be improved. However, from plow operators to those helping the homeless, he says he's extremely proud. The coordination, again, between professional and volunteer, how it all comes together, I think, I think they did a fantastic job. In Norfolk, Elise Brown, 13 News Now.